Well, so you all as a defensive back unit you know, tackled really well in space uh, against South Carolina. Maybe you had some issues there against Florida. What, what changed in those couple of weeks going into Carolina? Um, honestly, honestly, nothing really. There's, there's uh, no football. You know, there's going to be missed tackles in games. It's just really just about your intent and, you know, just keep having the same intent to make tackles and play fast. And, I mean, you're going to get guys on the ground. Eventually, that's what, that's what happens. Ryan? Last year, there five games. You guys' pass defense numbers are, are quite a bit better than last year. Do you, do you attribute that to the pass rush in part, or, or how much better are you guys playing in the secondary compared to last year, you think? Um, I contribute to everything. Uh, the coaches, the, the, the front, the, the linebackers, the, the back end. I mean, every, everything's connected. Uh, the pass rush is better with the secondary covering. The secondary is better with the pass rush, the pass rush. So everything connects. So, you know, as long as we all on the same page and just, you know, ready to get, you know, keep going and just, you know, have attention to detail. I think I think we can keep getting better. You know, this ain't this isn't just, you know, as good as we're gonna get. I think we can keep getting better. Patrick and then John. Well so going back to the South Carolina again, you had some some key stops and some third and fourth down situations. What what allowed you to be in, in, in the right position to make those plays? Um I'd honestly just say practice just I mean, it, it was it was routine. It's routine plays. Honestly, it's just just you just gotta be composed and just understand that you know you know it's it's not bigger. The moment is not big. Like it's just it's, it's really just all that we practiced on. And, you know, it was short yardage, so they're going for the short yardage play. So we just made a play on it. Well, so your guy kind of plays with a lot of emotion defensively. Mm -hmm. How much do you feed off the crowd, uh, especially during a game last week? How excited are you to, to get back in that environment Saturday? Yeah, I love it, honestly. Uh, it's really one of the main reasons, you know, I wanted to come here just to, like, play in environments like this big game and just feel that, like, you know, feel that pressure because, you know, I mean, pressure is going to either is gonna make you or break you, and I, I tend to, like, you know, embrace embrace the challenges and embrace, you know, the, the environment. So, you know, I, I most definitely feed off the crowd, and, you know, it just it just give me more in that mode of just wanting to play, honestly. Vince and Ben. How much are you looking forward to possibly hearing from or talking to Eric Berry? He's going to be recognized at the game being a fellow DB. Yeah, I found out he was coming on my way walking over here. Uh, I ain't going to lie, that's, that's going to be like a great experience. You know, I remember being a little kid watching him play up here. Um, never never got to meet him, but, you know, I, just, I really just want him to, I mean, he comes to the game, so I, I want to put on a show for him. You know, I want to make him, make him proud that, you know, he came here. Know that this game and be happy with the second play that we're doing. You know. Was it how nice was it uh, to see Kamal have the night that he had uh, against South Carolina? And then as a defense back room, what are the challenges that a and skill position players pose? Um, yeah, man, Kamal been you know been just putting his head down and working, and it's, it's just good to see him you know reap the reward from it. Just keep uh, just want to keep motivating him to keep going. You know, don't get satisfied, keep going. You know, it's more work to be done. You know, it's just a half of the season. So um, just keep your head focused on, on what we what we trying to get done, which is, you know, uh, SEC championship and then the national championship, you know. Uh, but uh, as far as Texas A&M, they personnel, they got some good skill guys, good receivers, good running backs, you know, good quarterback. Uh, he didn't start the season, but um, he uh, started uh, at LSU. And I, I think he started last year as well. Uh, but. Um, you know they they uh they have an identity on offense as well, so they they know what they're trying to get done, and you know they do a they do a good job of it. Uh, so you know we gotta you know just watch film, uh, understand you know their personnel where they want to put certain guys, what plays they're running when certain guys are certain at a certain spot, and um, you know just play fast, play our brand. Last one, Vince. How much is Danico Slaughter kind of chomping at the bit to get out there full go in the yeah. same? Um, yeah, he been uh, he been working uh, he been working in. He got some reps in last week. I feel like he uh, not last week the South Carolina week. I feel like he did good when he got in. So I, um, I'm not sure like what what the coach is doing. He's out there practicing, so you know I, I expect him to play. He, he'll be ready. Thank you.